So at this point I can make a decision. I can run back to the Pig King and give him the trinkets that I've found so far and get some gold for it. Or what, we, what I'm going to do is I don't really need it because I'm going to be mining gold soon anyways. I have a feeling we should be coming up on a rock biome fairly relatively soon. We can leave these trinkets on the ground here. And then when we do visit the Pig King for the first time, we will pass by them because they're on the road and uh, pick them up just on our way to the Pig King. And hooray, we found a spear. Here's another gnome. I'm just going to take the time to pick him out of there and put him on the road again as well. Just so he's there. And uh, we don't have to dodge back in to pick it up later. So that was a relatively... Um, usually I end up coming out of the desert with full stacks of twigs and cut grass, so we're kind of behind the eight ball there a little bit, but it is fine. The one other thing that I'm kind of short on again is food now. I'm going into this swamp, I know I'm not going to find any food, so I'm actually just going to leave this swamp alone for now. I'll get back to it some other point. Usually I like to go around the entire world uh, very early, but uh, we just don't need the hassles. The swamp is basically just a big hassle in the beginning of the game, so and I want to uh, avoid starving if at all possible. Oh, I went around in a big circle. Okay. So I am just... I see how that works. I'm just going to do a cursory examination of the swamp here. So I'm just going to kind of slide around the outside of the area that I had already explored. road as possible. Now the one thing that kind of sucks about uh, ignoring an entire biome like I've done now is the fact that um, there could be another biome on the other side of the swamp, and we won't figure that out until we actually go through the swamp properly, but that was uh, the trade-off that I have to make for actually keeping on trying to find food. Because our hunger is starting to run out, um, just, based, just because I had the, the couple of pieces of meat and uh, other things earlier. I'm not absolutely starving, but usually by the end of day two, if you haven't eaten anything, you do have to eat. Sometimes we wander away from the edge just to grab some of the necessary things, but that's all fine as long as we get back to it and get in good time you don't get too distracted about anything because generally you can find everything you need just sticking to the edge. But I had to prioritize grabbing even that one extra carrot there. hiding in between the trees. So another excellent point for rotating your camera every once in a while is to see things that are hidden by the trees, especially those deciduous ones, but the evergreens can hide quite a bit of stuff too.
forgot I should be collecting some of these flowers because my sanity is has been reduced some and we're gonna need a stack of flowers um, once we find a place to camp because we just let these flowers turn into rot and uh, use them to fertilize the grass and, or, and sometimes berries but I generally don't dig up berries anymore but use uh, the flowers to fertilize the grass that we do dig up and transport to the base. Just went through, and I always hate when this happens, but you come out exactly where you went into a biome. Kind of feels like we missed some stuff, but we got a lot of food in there, tons of carrots. Unfortunately, we didn't see any of the boons, which are um, the set pieces that give you items, like uh, backpacks or um, tools like pickaxes and uh, hammers and whatnot. But, uh, all right. I'm gonna build another fire for this night, and we're gonna do it in a place where we can actually continue working. Oh yes, the old zero percent pickaxe. little bit of a bug there in the game where you use up an act, uh, a tool and it goes to 0% but it doesn't actually break for you. Okay, and I don't see any real need to stand around, so actually I may as well chop down this tree. Three pieces of wood. We're actually just going to continue moving uh, so we can. Move. Actually, turn our torch off. It's a little bit scary and we'll lose some sanity from doing it, but we can continue working at night and just using the, uh, the interact button, which I have set to F. Just to continue. Very small excursion into that rock area, anyways. chopping some wood there so that I can bump up my wood again because what we're going to do is pre-make our science machine because we found the gold that we needed to do it so you just make it and we're just going to right click out of it and it doesn't put it down anywhere but it is made so the materials have been subtracted from our inventory and we don't have to worry about um, like if I make too many fires while I'm doing this exploration and run out of logs that uh, I don't have to worry too much about not having the, the materials for it. So, just a quick detour to grab a flower. And stick within the view of the edge still. Continuing our outlining of the map. sanity. Once I get it back up to 200, I'll stop collecting flowers. 
because we really don't want to be picking flowers with no benefit other than just getting a flower out of it. I'm going to make sure I get this wormhole marked on the map. And we've also found the second pig village. So if I had room in my inventory, I would definitely pick up some of those berries that were there, but you don't really have the room and it takes a long, it takes a relatively long time to collect berries, as, especially as opposed to grabbing a carrot. So, and carrots fill your hunger more than berries, so this is the reason why I don't grab berries on my initial run through. Sometimes it's necessary if you're not finding a lot of carrots, but in this case, I don't think it's necessary at all. Even though I have a spear, I'm still not going to mess with that clockwork guy just right yet, because I want to get more exploration done. My root, typical rule of thumb is I gather up two uh, pickaxes worth of rock. It usually equates to getting two stacks. Um, on this run through, it looks like it's going to be a little bit less. And anyways, I don't exactly have the room for all of that rock anyways because of um, actually it was the boards. That